so this Medico was actually a gift from uh, one of the really talented pickers we have on the lock picking subreddit named Drowkin. Um, he and I were talking about picking Medicos a while back, and he mentioned he'd like to send me one as a gift. So, Jarkin, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I also want to do a little bit different giveaway this time and give a shout out to my friend Ith Baumgard, who actually sent me this lock to give away. Now, Ith has just picked his very first Medico on camera, which is a huge deal. So rather than leave a comment here, follow the link down below over to his Medico video and say congratulations. In a week, I'll have uh, him pick randomly from the comments and tell me who to send this lock to. Okay, back to the matter at hand. Um, this lock's pretty special because aside from being blingy, it's a LFIC cylinder, which means if it was mounted in a padlock or a door or something, to remove the core, we'd have to pick it to control, which would retract this uh, control lug. We'd be able to remove the core. Um, and operating um, can be uh, counterclockwise or clockwise, but a control will always have to be counterclockwise. So anyway, what I thought would be fun to do with this lock would be to uh, pick it twice. We'll pick it um, counterclockwise to control. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and pick it to operating. Anyway, let's throw this thing in a vise, see if we can get a pick. Okay guys, let's see what we can do with this uh, Medico LFIC Classic. I'm gonna try to get a control pick first. If I don't, I'll get an operating, um, and then we'll gut it. But what I'm hoping to do here is uh, the first pick is a, will be a control, and then we'll kick it back over and do an operating pick on it. Since we're going counterclockwise, we have to um, rotate the pins first. And the fundamentals behind why that is lies in the design of the sidebar on a Medico. Um, it's not uncommon that locks will will prefer uh, the top pins or the sidebar pins um, first, but it's very uncommon on a Medico to have them bind alternately to the uh, kind of counterclockwise sidebar first, clockwise, top pins first um, prescription because of the shape of the, the actual sidebar itself. It has a little lip on the bottom that kind of prescribes the way that works. So it's a matter of lifting and checking to make sure that we're uh, still rotationally set as we do vertical setting. And I think in terms of the rotation, a lot of people kind of want to make this more difficult than it has to be. Okay, there we are at a control pick. Uh, the lock is control picked and the little nub is retracted so uh, the the control lug so as we kick oops the control lug is over here uh, is retracted and so as we rotate this back the control lug comes back out and everything sets okay as I was saying um, Rotate, rotating these pins is not the exact science that uh, a lot of times it's made out to be. Um, they, they, they pass the jiggle test and it's very clear um, based on the vertical freedom of the pin and the, um, the rotational jiggle that you get out of them if they're, they're set. So um, when I first was learning about picking Medicos, I remember thinking, gosh, you know, how are, how how could it possibly be done that you could, you know, use your pick to set these pins rotationally in exactly the same way every single time? And and the truth is, is you do have a lot of control over it, but 
it isn't exactly the same kind of strategy as the lifting motion on a pin. It's far more of a it's far more of a kind of sweeping and testing strategy. Um, if that makes any sense. It's not raking or anything, but it's definitely more of a lifting and, and sweeping, testing, lifting, sweeping, testing. And that was actually one of the reasons I didn't quite know how to answer a person's question who wanted me to go into a little bit more detail uh, in my videos about how I'm picking these high sec locks. Um, he'd asked me to kind of do a, a kind of a pin by pin, blow by blow commentary on what I'm doing. Oh, we're back at control. <laughs> All right, let's kick this back over and just lift pins three and four. This is gonna take concentration, forgive me guys. Okay, now we're at operating. Okay. Let's get it. Okay, so yeah, um, he wanted me to kind of do more of a pin by pin, blow by blow. And it's, if I were to kind of narrate a, a picking like that on one of these high security locks, it would be very boring because they, uh, the process for picking them is a little bit different um, than your normal kind of let's find a binder, let's lift it. Um, it's, find a binder and lift it, but find a binder, rotate it, test it, then lift it, then if it's not lifted into a proper rotation, test it again, drop it, lift it. And to narrate that in that way would be uh, very difficult and probably very uh, kind of schizophrenic to listen to, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know how to say it any better, but it's just a there's a lot happening at any given moment, and to uh, to really narrate it like that would be hard. So I kind of struggled with how to answer that question. Um, and basically what I settled on was, I'm gonna really do my best to provide a conceptual guide uh, to picking these. And then um, if you kind of want to talk about it more, find me on key picking or or the lock picking subreddit where we can we can go into a little bit more of it uh, and talk. I'm happy to I'm always happy to do that. I love talking about lock picking. So track me down if something I'm I'm doing isn't clear, or just leave a comment here. I always one of the things that's important to me is I try to respond to every comment. Um, on older videos, I I don't always get to them, um, but I do try. So uh, come find me on uh, either in the comments or on the lock picking subreddit or on key picking and we can talk more about how to pick these if uh, something I've, I've said or done isn't clear. All right, pin one's got a master wafer. Two does not. Three does. Four does. Five does. And oops, six does as well, but I dropped it. Right. Alright, right, we got a standard pin in chamber one. Standard pin in uh yeah, standard pin with a wafer in chamber two. Standard pin in chamber three. Standard pin in chamber four. Standard pin, I think, with a wafer in chamber five. I always have a hard time grabbing pin six. Oh, I did it. <laughs> and a standard pin, I don't believe we have a 
wafer and chamber six. Oops, did I go off? Okay, there we go. And then of course, oh, I did have a wafer in chamber six. Okay. And then of course we have the control ring. And uh, we'll knock the springs out of here. And there's one of the Half Moon Medico uh, anti-drill plates. So, okay. Let me get these organized and we'll come on down for close up. Up number one on the core, just a standard Medico core. There's the keyway. Uh, our sidebar is sitting there with uh, the six little protrusions, rectangular protrusions. Master ring um, is as you'd expect, and the body is uh, is an unmodified Medico. Let's do uh, close-ups on the pins. Looks like we have... I can never see these, you guys, but I don't think we have a false gate in pin one. We do have a false gate in pin two. We uh, do, I believe, have a false gate in pin three. We do have a false gate in pin 4. We do have a false gate in pin 5. And we do not have a false gate in pin 6. Let's do a real close up on these guys. Okay. All the top pins are standard with master wafers, so there's nothing too special there. This is mostly just for people who are interested in a closer look at Medico pins with their true and false gates. Oh, it looks like we do have a false gate in pin one. No false gate in pin two. Okay, 12 minute video, 13 minute video. Thanks for watching guys.